Yep. My name is Tara Adams and I am in West Bradford Township. I want to begin by thanking all of those within the Downingtown family, family who have worked so passionately to make sure our students excel on a variety of levels. Having talked to several principals, teachers, and staff recently, they have all adamantly stated that Downingtown is a family-oriented, accepting, and wonderful place to learn. Their students feel safe entering the building and students are not divided. I think everyone here can agree that unfortunately racism does exist and is something that is not welcome in Downingtown. Those fighting against DEI are not racist, nor are we white supremacists. We believe that every culture, nationality, and religion should be respected and honored. That those who exhibit racist behavior should receive consequences and those on the receiving end should be given the support and love they deserve. We want all children to feel accepted. I am glad to hear that Downingtown is adamantly stating that they are not teaching or advocating for CRT, as we all know it is detrimental to our kids. However, it seems as though many are confused and we wanna to work together to clarify questions that parents have. Nationally, euphemisms are being used to deceive and camouflage CRT, such as, and unlike you heard earlier, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Additional terms that are linked to CRT are used by Downingtown on a regular basis are implicit bias, micro and macroaggressions, whiteness, systemic racism, white privilege, social justice, and yes, social emotional learning and anti-racism, racism, just to name a few. Google CRT books and you will see a list of books that are currently being promoted by Downingtown many of which have been red flagged by the Society of College Medicine as racist rhetoric. Additionally, the resources being promoted by Downingtown are also linked to CRT organizations and activists. It is teaching our children that all white people are oppressors and all people of color are oppressed. Why would you want to create an environment that encourages children to see themselves as victims? It teaches that skin color is the only thing that matters and groups people accordingly. This breeds hate and division. Board members, are you even aware that material such as this is being promoted by Downingtown? Have you read any of the material yourself? Due to the lack of transparency, I question now, why did, the, why did the board alone deem it necessary that Downingtown was in such turmoil, such upheaval that we needed to adopt a DEI plan? I asked the board today, what data do you have for us to justify such a drastic move and spending hundreds of thousands of taxpaying dollars on this new program? Where is the data that shows Downingtown to have such racial divide and race hate crimes? We are aware that teachers are already being trained to use this language within their classrooms. Um, the DEI director has already held numerous implicit bias trainings for those within the district using all the CRT lingo. He stated that he will be training all students on staff on this. I'm not sure about you, but what I can assure you is that no one will be training my child on anything. What I expect is teachers to teach math, science, reading, and writing, and not to engage in social engineering, which no teacher is qualified to teach. Can you please explain to me if you are adamantly against CRT, why are you promoting material that is clearly clearly linked to CRT? I propose that the board vote immediately for the removal of all books and resources that promote CRT, which is being masked by DEI. I don't care how you categorize it, it is racism and it is wrong. I honestly have to say, I've seen more division and damage done over the past 12 months within our district because of all of this. Our district has never been this divided. I believe there's more common ground between us than not when it comes to our children and teaching them the golden rule of love your neighbor as yourself. I believe in working together to make sure this happens. The recent path Downingtown has chosen is not the path in uniting our children or our community.